Yeah, so when you bust nuts and cream pie, you know, you get a larger tax return. That's how that works? That's exactly how that works. No, but in reality, like the most I've ever gotten back was when I was going to school and my tax person back in the day managed to write off most of my school expenses. So that's when I got the most like ever. But I know people who are like single parents or just parents with one or two kids and they get back fat checks like 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 fat like like when dudes are like looking for a BBW girl to like sit on their faces like that kind of fat check man I've known people that get like seven or eight grand back jeez exactly jeez exactly that's what I'm saying dog so when you're cream pie and you don't care that you get rewarded in tax returns, <laughs> except all year you you know you gotta so, worry about a kid. <laughs> so bonus, go raw and you get a fat tax return. Yeah, man. Hey, Boski, you want to take me out of Disney World? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Just trying to try to survive while we we're trying to make trying to make a living. <laughs> yeah, man. That's that's all I like. I've never seen che- return checks like I've seen with people with kids. Some of them have like both double dipping they're going not double dipping they're legally dipping but they're getting two pieces of the pie because they're getting their deduction for being married and their deduction for their kids and their kids expenses and and daycares and all that stuff that's what i'm saying i've known people who get like seven ags checks i'm like (gasps) that's crazy it's a lot of money it's a lot of money man and that's how you start the podcast off ladies and gentlemen welcome welcome i need to say Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Generalist Podcast, until I think of a better name. Uh, and uh, we have random podcasts about anything at all possible in this universe. That's right. So it's a it's a, a smorgas, smorgas, smorgasbord? Smorgasbord? Smorgasbord, that's what it is. Of, <clears throat> hey man, I don't use all of these words all the time. I gotta. That's why I'm bringing them back into the repertoire, so I can... I can sharpen the blade of these words once again. Right now, they're just dull butter knives. I need to get them back into into katanas. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what I wanted to say. Hooked on phonics worked for you? No, it didn't. I think they got rid of that in school, right? Um, phonics? I don't know what a phonics is. We took phonics class. What is that? Is when they work on phonetic... Phonics stands for like phonetics. Me. For like... um. So when you're talking, there's certain ways to say words and the way the words, the relationship between the words. Fuck that. I don't do that. Well, then, then well, there you go. But we, shit. but we had those classes. We make Just, steel here in America. Well, not we used not to. anymore. You, that's China now. Now we put borders up all around America. Don't let have, nobody in this we bitch. We haven't done that that's yet That's how either. we do. We haven't done that yet Up either. in America. We haven't done that yet either. That's how we do it. They, you, you took a cursive class, right? What? You didn't, dude, I think your memory just sucks. We took cursive, like where they taught you how to write in cursive. Oh, yeah. That was a, that like was a whole... It was a whole, symbol class? Yeah, like old English. <laughs> <Your> west side. <laughs> old English class. Taught you how to do the, the south side yeah. symbol with the little diamonds, and then you just crossed them over and did yeah, a little... Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I remember that. Um, the, that wasn't a class. They just taught you that during basic... It was like, like English, basic, whatever. Yeah, like yeah, during yeah, basic but, English. But they, they taught it. You mm-hmm. know, nowadays they don't. No. Which is crazy, because if there wasn't that, I you would not be able to read my writing. I don't read it right on writing cursive, but I can, and it's legible. Normally, it's not. You got to squint real hard and do a line of like meth, and then you can get what I'm saying. Uh, so speaking of meth, we should talk about what we saw earlier. Go ahead and tell them. Go ahead and tell um, them. People. First thing, but yeah, I was talking about that with uh, some of the Gen Ed kids. They're like, "Oh, do you use cursive?" cursive or meth? Any- oh. No, a bolt probably. <laughs> Um, like <laughs> I'm like, so what goes in meth, really? Well, how um, much does meth go for nowadays? Do you want to buy some? <laughs> you're like getting your dealer, your your kids are your dealers. And yeah. You're like, oh, I'm all, all of a sudden I'm into meth, dude. What? <laughs> yeah, my, my sixth graders. I can graders, stop anytime I want to. My sixth graders really love love me, and they gave me a first, first dose me a first free. hit free. Oh, geez. Um, no, but we're talking about that, and yeah, they said they don't teach them cursive anymore. I was like, can they, and, and sure they, they were can like, read it, right? Not really. Ugh. And I was like, I don't know if too many people really do that anymore. Dude, you got an issue with yawning. 
every podcast. Mm. Hey, man, we do this late at night. Every podcast. Um, so I was like, they're like, oh, do you do it still? And I'm like, only for like my signature. Like, I don't know how to do any other letters. As I get older, my my signature is getting lazier. Mine's never the same. Yeah, nobody's is. So I'm but it's it's luck. getting sloppier. Where I'm like, I'm just trying to get out. Like Harbor Freight Girl, let me just get out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Luckily now we don't have to sign for every single credit card transaction. But for certain things you do, and the I'm dude just, in the bank was taking a long time when we got money out right now. Did the ATM? Yeah, I was like, are you signing some shit in there? What are you doing? He needs to get a, a blood. Doing a dick scan. He's <laughs> he's got that blood where you gotta get a, a little a little I prick, guess. and then that's how you get your money. I guess. Yeah, he took forever. But whatever. But yeah, that's what we're talking. Oh, and uh, well, I'm talking about school. Um, so I was talking to the Gen Ed students, and you know they they just tell me like basic shit that goes on in their life. Because you know I don't get out of the room much, so they tell me what's going on like on campus. And apparently, the new thing that's happening on campus is because they have lockers. Like a lot of places don't have lockers. Like I went by our high school, like they don't have lockers anymore. Remember high school had lockers? Yeah, but we had lockers because there was, um, that we had like thick, gigantic books that we had to carry around, and mm-hmm. between classes we had to, um, we had to um, put them away because otherwise it would like just rip our backpacks. I paused there because I was trying to think: Did we have clear backpacks? Did we have to have clear backpacks that in high was, school? That was at middle school. That was middle school. Why do I always think junior high instead of middle school? Um, Same thing. But yeah, yeah. So we the books were just so big, you had to, you had to. That's funny. I still remember how many minutes exactly there was between passing periods. How many? Five. Some of those are hustles, man. If you got to make that run from one side of the school to the other, that was a hustle. Mm-hmm. And they got aggressive with our year, where we had to, if we didn't make it to class on time. They would send you to that one room where it was just sitting there for the whole period if you were late. I'm like, that's aggressive. I got to go from one side of the ho- of the hospital, one side of the um, school to the other. Oh, dude, I never, remember, I never forget the day. The greatest thing I've ever got is because for my uh, specials class, I got What's to work specials again. Like your like P or whatever. Yeah, elective. Okay. Um, from my elective, one of them was. Uh, to work in the office, like That's office right. aid. You did that multiple years. Yeah, ago. I did that multiple years. And the reason was because I got a free pass to walk over campus wherever the fuck I wanted to do. Just to like do just, stuff for them? Yeah, do stuff for them or just fucking walk around. I can tell you shit. I had a pass. They'd be like, hey, where are you going? Did I'm they, like, pass, bitch. Shut the it? fuck up on your golf cart, bitch ass. And then you would shut up. And then I did that one year. Then next year I did it again. And then senior year. I got an even better pass. And you're like, what is a better pass? What pass could be better than that? Get free food with it? Yes, because I worked for the newspaper and that was an all access pass to anything. I could go into people's classrooms and be like, oh, I'm here to interview so and so for a newspaper. They'd be like, oh, okay. And they would just let him out? If I, uh, yeah. Why don't you ever get me out of class? Because I don't like you. Fuck, son. Could have got me out. We could have gone, like, it, gone to Sonic, got some food. <laughs> they would uh they would uh they would like check back with like the other teachers. It's so. like what's he what you interviewing for? Oh, I heard some rumors about some Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Dick. Oh jeez. just I need to get him out <clears> for this interview. There's um, been rumors in the schools of of his ways with women. Well no <laughs> <laughs> He started this new thing called cream pie. <laughs> At that age, <laughs> at that age, oh, um, well, no, because like one year, I think it was it was Valentine's Day for sure, and I went to go give one of my hosts some stuff, and I had the the newspaper pass, so I could just wander in and out of classrooms if I wanted to. So I literally wandered into one of the classes randomly, and they didn't tell me shit. Hmm. I was just like, I'm here for the newspaper. We we're giving these things out. I've been there for like ten minutes talking to the hoe. They didn't tell me anything. That's interesting. Yeah, man. Fucking press pass. That's that's a bitch. Press pass? That that's the that's a ticket, man. Even in high school, that's a ticket. Oh you young kids, get a newspaper. Was it really political the, the newspaper to to get your articles on the in the paper? 
Because I think you, I remember you had a couple, right? But it wasn't like every week you had a, a article. No, we did. Did we do one every month? I think it was every month. So, no, I think I had one almost every month. There was only a few months I didn't. I didn't have, I think one month I had multiple stories, but it wasn't too hard. Normally they would need, need like a filler, like just a filler one. And I, nobody wanted to do it. And I'd be like, oh, I'll do it. And so that's how I got my stuff in there. And then they always needed like somebody to, because you remember the one ho who was in charge of that? No. Um, well, uh, you mean the student? Yeah, student in charge was of that. Was it Ashley? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, she was always like super democratic and always like super left wing. So you needed somebody to contradict that. And nobody ever wanted to do that. So it was like always her view or whatever. And then so they're like, oh, does anybody want to? like counter her side and i was like yeah i'll do it so that's how i got a lot of my stuff in there hmm where do they where do they have the stuff printed did they have to get them send them out of the school and somebody mm-hmm. else did it i think yeah they, we had the thing like on the computer and it would like format it to how it was going to look on the paper but yeah the printing of it happened like somewhere else so they got delivered <clears throat> to the school. Yeah, they got delivered to the school. It's not the school had a printing press. Yeah, no, I went to go get the delivery sometimes. Hmm. Was that one place down the street? I want to say so. It had to be. If they weren't using that place, that was very bad marketing hmm. on their point. But yeah. Yeah, I went to go get the delivery. So they would drop it off either in the front office or right there in the front gate. Dang, it's front gate, huh? They just don't care. Yeah. Um, Me and so- that one how they... That I was madly in love with went to go get them a few times. <clears throat> the one girl that that one guy dated. I hate that guy. Um, so you're going to tell him what happened to us today? Oh, yeah. I will tell you that. Okay, but back uh, before I went on that tangent, that went farther than I thought it would. But, uh, okay, so my gen ed students were saying there's a new thing happening to them uh, in in between their like passing periods. They only get like three minutes for passing period, so it's not five minutes. Mm-hmm. Granted, it's a smaller campus, so I mean, three minutes should be plenty of time. But they go to their lockers, whatever, and get their books. And then apparently, somebody's been slipping like uh, little like note cards in their lockers that ask them if they want to join the KKK. Somebody's just trolling. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and apparently, yeah, it's been happening like all week. And they're like, oh, yeah, do you want to join the white supremacist club? And they've been putting in, like, everybody's lockers. I just, man, for me, <clears> it's <throat> like, that's a lot of work to troll somebody. Yeah, it's happening to, uh, I mean, quite a few people, apparently. Like, that just uh, it just makes me tired. Unless you you have access to, like, a copy machine, and then you can run them all off and cut them up. And then, you know what I mean? Because otherwise you're handwriting all those notes in everybody's lockers. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, so they said they, they've been getting those. And I was like, that's funny. Apparently, they, and then another one was like, oh, you want to join the white supremacist club? And when the kid was like, that's weird that they want to start a club. That's a weird way to promote it. Well, I'm like, well, they're asking you because they want to know if there's enough people, enough interest in it to start the club of white supremacists. They're not going to start it if there's no interest in it. The school is not going to allow that. No, they won't. There's a certain I would, I would level of free so. speech, but they're not going to let you have a hate group inside of the school grounds. No. And that, that's pretty much the most hateful group, I think. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. But, yeah, that's the thing. And uh, and like, I'm pretty sure it's just a big troll, but it's kind of funny. I thought it was kind of funny. That's crazy, dude. But still, yeah, it's still crazy. Middle school, by the way. So... So you never told people what, uh, what's going on? All right. On? So earlier we went to, because uh, I uh, color pictures, you know, I'm into coloring. Uh-huh. Adult coloring books. Not like, you know, balls you say, and dicks. You can't say Not adult. balls and dicks coloring books. I was going to say, you got to like clarify Like trees that. and landscapes and animals and shit. So I uh, I need frames. I get my frames from the dollar store. All right. Because it's the most cost effective way to do that. Oh, yeah. And then I also, you know, might, you know, uh, depending on what I do, paint my frame or whatever. That's so why I go to a dollar store for him. So we were there. I went with you because we were out doing some uh, random errands. And so we're waiting in checkout line. And 
out of the corner of my peripherals, because I got good peripherals, I saw this cracked out hoe. And she came in the door. And from my peripherals already, I go, she's cracked out. I know. I didn't, I didn't think I know off the top of my head that I thought she was cracked out, but I thought there was definitely mm-hmm. something odd there. No, I saw it. I saw it. I'm like that character on Naruto that, with the third eye. You can see everything. That's what I saw. I saw her out of my peripherals, and I saw her cracked out already. I'm like, this hoe's going to shoot this place up. This is how we die. Right here. And I'm like, I'm going to use Jonathan as a human shield because he's so muscular. He's, the bullet is just going to bounce off. Is that him. what's going to happen? Yeah, that's what's going to happen. You're like that or I'm going <clears> to, <throat> and then it's going to give me time to escape. I don't care if he yeah. survives this one. <laughs> well, he'll survive. He's so muscular. <laughs> now you kiss an ass after you knew he was going to kill me. <laughs> the bullet will like get lodged in your, your deep chest muscles. And then it'll, just, it'll be fine. Yeah, right? it'll be like, ha, ah, bitch, they hurt. <laughs> so um, anyways, but no, seriously, she was cracked out. And I see her, like, moving, like, erratically. And I'm, she's, like, talking to somebody, but I didn't know who she was talking to. She was talking to nobody because she's cracked out, probably seeing the devil or whatever. So she starts going, hey, hey. And I guess she's talking to the guy, to at, the, the counter. The guy at the counter. And she's like, hey, do you have that, uh, what she want? She wanted, like, roach? a bug and roach killer. killer. And he was like, oh, the... Boric to something. Yeah, some like hardcore yeah. bug killer. And she's like, and he's, she's like, yeah. I need help getting I need, it. I need it help getting it though, because it's way in the back and I couldn't get it. And he's like, okay. She's like, I was wondering if you could go to the back and get it for me and bring it over here. And he was like, yeah, I guess. And then we checked out because we found the lane that was open. So we had to go past this crazy crack whore. And as we went past her, she was still like she was talking moving to herself. erratically and talking to herself. It was a little weird. A little, it was little, very weird, dude. I was like, hmm. A little creepy, but whatever. And so we walked to the car. It took us, what, let's estimate a good 30 to 45 seconds to get to the car. Something like that. So we sit down in the car. And then once again, we as we sit down in the car, we see her coming out of the building. And apparently, I thought she wanted like a big box of this stuff or something, but it looked like it was like just like a package of maybe smaller than cereal, like a box of pop tarts or something. That's how big the package looked. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I just thought it was weird. I didn't think anything of it when I first um, heard her. You you kind of made it seem like um, you kind of noticed she was off. Like I didn't notice she was off until we walked past her and then. She made like she was talking to herself. She didn't mm-hmm. have like a headphone or headset on or her phone, and I was like, "This is weird." Mm-hmm. She was not dressed very normal either. She had a very weird situation going on. The whole thing was weird. I'm just glad I didn't get stabbed. Yeah, once again, the blade would have just bent off your incredibly muscular physique. Jeez, I feel like you're gonna drop a bomb on me here shortly. You're gonna be like, "By the way, son, uh, you now have." I was like, AIDS, that sounds bad. You now have, like, some virus that I was exposed to, and now I'm giving it to you. By the way, I gave you those compliments earlier, so you should feel better about yeah, this. should feel better. You're the biggest Mexican I've ever seen in real life. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, so, not speaking of which, but that brings up another um, situation that, that I was thinking about earlier today. And I kind of told, told you about it, so I guess I'll just tell the podcasters, because, you know, they're they're... The fam and shit, you know, so you gotta, gotta mm-hmm. keep the family together. <clears throat> so I was working out today, and oh, yeah. I was working out today. As some of you know, I have like a little home gym, and some of you might already know this because you probably follow my YouTube fitness account. And so, if you don't, it's linked somewhere. And um, you should. It's hashtag base makes you never. <laughs> and so I'm working out, and like between sets, I'm always either editing the video clips to put them up on Instagram or. I'm texting you or I'm like texting other people or I'm just like trying to keep my mind off the next set. And so I'll get on YouTube or I'll do whatever, whatever. So I'm always usually on my phone unless I'm doing sets of different stuff between sets of stuff. So either way, I'm on my phone. And my neighbor in the past has like asked me if I'm like recording them because they live across the street from me. And I was like, no, I'm not recording you. And they're like, all right, whatever. But today, I'm like standing there on my phone, standing facing them. But I'm uh, my phone is facing the ground. And 
I see her step out and I kind of wave and she doesn't wave back. She doesn't seem like she looks at me, but she's like holding her phone up like maybe she's on her phone. And I'm like, all right, maybe she's on her phone, whatever. And and then she like she puts her car in the garage, comes out and like start yells something at me like like she's pissed off. And then she, I just heard something like a phone and, and something and then she's like da, 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 and she just runs back into the house and i'm like what's going on i'm like she pissed based on the tone i assumed that she was pissed off and i have no idea why and then her husband comes home and i walk over there and i'm like i'll talk to him because she seemed aggro and i don't want to deal with this shit and so i went and talked to him and i was like i think your wife's mad at me or something i i, I don't know I, I didn't hear much because i have the radio on too so you can't hear anything Nothing but Tupac playing. That's how That's you make always, games. Always, always. And he's like, I'll go talk to her. So he went inside and then he came back out. And he's like, yeah, she's mad because she thinks you're recording her every time I go there. I'm like, you act like I have a camera facing your house. Like, it's I'm looking down at my phone screen. Or if I'm looking up, it's slightly angled, but it's not facing your house. Or maybe she's worried because there's a tripod or whenever I set up the recordings. I don't know, but she was pissed off. And... I'm like, dude, I can't even fucking win here. Like, I'm not facing camera towards you. I'm not going to stop recording this. I don't know if it's some sort of insecurity or if you're hiding something or if you're just feeling you have some sort of uh, paranoia about something. Like, I don't know what you got going on in your life to feel paranoid about. But I keep my, my business to myself. I don't start trouble with nobody. I'm not trying to start drama. So I don't know why they would assume that I'm starting shit with them. And... The mom who she lives with is like a super nice. She says hi to me all the time. Like I'm out there working out. She's a nice church going lady, it seems like. And like every time I'm out there, she's like waves to me. I wave to her. She's like, how are you doing? I'm like, good. How are you doing? She she brings me mail that she thought was mine. I was like, that's not mine. But thanks for asking. Like I'm super cool with her. Like one time I was working out. She's like, you you working out? Are you going to keep working out? You're going to look like Hercules. And I just laugh. And I'm like, you're funny. But... You know, like, yeah, yeah, I will. (laughs) Goals, hashtag. But, you know, I'm cool with her. And and she doesn't think I'm, like, filming her and trying to send freaking video to America's Most Wanted or something. (laughs) I don't don't know what's going on here, man. Can't win, but... We'll, we'll see if there's updates for this. Hopefully, there's no updates on this on the next podcast. Yeah, but. right. And then when we're done running errands and we came back, I'm like, there's going to be a break through my car. There might be. Or I'm going to wake up and there's going to be shit on my house. Right. At the very least, some sort of trash pile. I'm just like, man, I can't win. I'm just trying to do my thing <clears throat> here. I'm trying to get some, some Broly gains in the winter. And I'm just I'm just getting, getting chewed see, out for no when, reason. When you told me the story earlier, you didn't put those like facts in there. I was normally, making Broly gains. Yeah, normally you're like, you know. So I was on the gym making incredible gains. I was like, in the gym. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue God Goku. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get braggadocious or nothing. <clears> it's just happening. Things happen. I was doing that, just breaking uh, all kinds of PR records or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't happens. matter. Uh, and uh, it's Sunday, anyways. It's Sunday afternoon. It yeah. Happens. Shit happens, dog. Yeah, it's normally how you start off. You know? But, but you didn't start off that way earlier. I'm like, oh, damn. Serious. I was, you know, trying, <clears> trying <throat> to be serious. Not, nothing big. Yeah. Just, just, a, just a normal training session. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I'm just trying to arm wrestle Optimus Prime. Fuck that dude. <laughs> and do all the money. Hitter. Ain't Ain't no hitter. Hitter. Selling wolf tickets. No. Make sure I'm for president. What? Trying to get that Unicron power. You know what I'm <laughs> Unicron power. But uh, yeah. So I don't know. We'll see if I have updates for this next week. But I was like, this is some straight bow. Some bow. I can't even win with people I'm trying to be nice to, let alone people that think I'm a fuckhead, <laughs> which is a pretty big list. Yeah, I got that. I got that bitter bitch face, just legit stuck. So, I got, I got some. Um, since I'm trying to diversify this podcast, oh yeah, just like, uh, just like you know, your 401k should be. Mm-hmm. I, I had a topic that came across like one of the you know YouTube or not YouTube, um, like many news medias. Just this isn't even like a legit news thing because last time we got into Trump shit, and I was like, we're getting too deep. This is a, a, a little statistics I was looking at. You know what? Do you want to take a guess at how much the average wedding costs in the U.S.? 25000 Is that your final answer? Yep. The average wedding in the U.S. costs thirty grand. Damn, that was close. That's fucking insane to me. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I'm not doing that. Which, by the way, that's the average. I looked. They had a map. That broke down where people spent the most money. Where do you think people spend the most money? Like where? Yeah. Back east. 
You're correct. That's right. And you know why I know that? Why you know do you know why I know that? <laughs> Ask me, why Jonathan, you, why, why I you know, know this. Why do you know this? Because every single one, you can't hear me hit my leg. Everyone <laughs> who I've ever gone to church with, ever <laughs> gone to church with, has had a huge wedding. Guess where they had it at? East Coast. The East fucking Coast. That's fucking right. Everyone. I saw some of those smaller states on the East Coast, mm-hmm. like Rhode Island and, and all mm-hmm. those, like New York and, and Massachusetts. Holy shit, man. Mm-hmm. Like Rhode Island was like average was like 55000 55 fucking thousand dollars on That's a crazy. fucking day party. That's fucking crazy. Guess New York. Oh, Guess New York. 70000 $80,000 on a it's fucking insane. party. Insane. That's fucking ridiculous. Insane. You you buy a GTR for that. Yeah. A used GTR cheaper than that. Cash yeah. and shit. Like like you came in with a briefcase full of hundreds in those perfectly paper wrapped hundreds mm-hmm. stacks. Just open up the briefcase like some some gangster motherfucker just click click opened it up. The thing creaks open just fat freshly printed hundreds the smell of clean bills coming out that briefcase you just and throw then, it at the person and and un- slowly rip those all fucking 35 stacks or whatever of hundreds stack up those hundreds and just make it rain on that motherfucker just be like enjoy your money and give me my keys <laughs> <laughs> eighty thousand dollars on a fucking party man that's crazy look man i get it if this is like if you're like super religious like catholics and christians don't seem like it's it's a super big deal it's a big deal right but it's not like like i hear jewish parties are oh, yeah. lit like jewish parties are lit yeah they or have to like be um um is it indian Hindu weddings. Hindu weddings. Like, like you know, I don't have too much experience with that, but, you know, they have pretty extravagant parties. I get it if you're dropping that kind of money. I still can't justify it, but I get it, right? Because there's a lot of religious mm-hmm. uh, connection with things. But if you're some dude that's not religious and you're just doing this because you're trying to show off to your family members this beautiful day of the day you got together if that's what you're doing fuck all that noise man i i can't deal with that that's too high maintenance for me like i'd rather be like all right babe let's fucking let's get 50 grand okay let's get 50 grand either do two things put half of it in savings or buy a car with half of that and the other half well first of all get married in like your state or vegas or whatever invite a couple people have a couple people over for dinner or something whatever right Mm -hmm. with that 50 grand either spend half of that and put it in a savings or buy a car or no half of that i'm losing my train of thought here half of that either buy a car with it or put it in savings and the other half go and have an insane fucking um honeymoon Mm -hmm. like like those videos that you see on Instagram where you're walking outside of those Spain pools that lead into like mm-hmm. an overhead or um, like a like an overhead view of the ocean. Like that's some like baller, baller honeymoon. Mm-hmm. Or the ones where you let like those little like cottages and you step out and like the water's right outside and the water's like clear blue. You could see the white sand on the bottom. That one with Justin Bieber, that kind of shit with Justin Bieber yeah. has dick pic. Like those kind of legit... That's not us. The, 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 have a baller honeymoon. Mm-hmm. Or you could just be hella baller and just spend the 50000 on the honeymoon. Yeah. Just be like the balleriest, ballerest of them all and go crazy. Like private jet. You got like, you go to Spain and then you go to like, um, where those islands are, I can't remember where those are. And then you go to like, you know, Italy. And I mean, you do the whole freaking shebang. But, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 thousand dollars on a wedding to me is insane. Yeah, that's you can go to a part of the country where with sixty thousand dollars, fucking even, even like the the eighty thousand where it almost capped off at, 
you can buy an insane house with that. Yeah, you can buy a good house. I I just that 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 gave me a headache. Yeah, people are like that, man. They're they're weird. I I I just was stressed out about that because I'm like with eighty grand, mm. man. Like, let's just stop fucking around here and say fuck it to the wedding, and let's put that eighty grand like on a cabin. Yeah, you, you should. Got a side cabin. You just go up there in the winter, sling some dick in the cabin in the woods with some snow dropping all over. Sling you. your bearskin rug. A bearskin rug. Have some kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? You get all kinds of stuff with that. Go get take some clamps involved. Sure, why not? And then when you have kids, you can take them snowboarding or skiing or um, what's that thing with the little uh, the one where you have a little dish and then you just slide down. Oh, sledding. Yeah, sledding. You know, do that shit, man. Eighty grand to me on a freaking. Dude, eighty grand is like what you would spend for a kid in a year, probably. Maybe even less. I think statistically that's what you spend on everything, including healthcare and stuff like that, the first year or two. But that's crazy to me. I saw that and I was like, dude, either I'm not making enough money or <laughs> I can't justify that kind of uh, it's, yeah, that's crazy, man. I I don't know why. I've always told my parents I was gonna get married in Vegas. They call bullshit on me, but or just they're get like, like a. I mean, if you want always something like, nice, they're always like, "You were this. You'd be disrespecting us so much. You would never do that." I'm like, ah, ha, 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 ha. "Oh yeah, you would do that I just would. to spite them." Yeah, but yeah, I would. what do they want? They want a gigantic party. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. Didn't ask. I'm just like, whatever, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, yo, dog. I'm getting married. Um, I'll see me at the courthouse in about like 30 minutes, and then at <clears> nighttime, <throat> I'll have some like, you know, grill, I'll grill some meat in the back, and we'll have like some courthouse. some drinks." And then we'll just chill, man. I'll, I'll see you in about three weeks when I'm coming back from being drained. And uh, we'll be good to go. <laughs> like, you seem to have lost all your gains. <laughs> yeah, I needed them for more protein. <laughs> uh, the survival instinct. <laughs> my body turned all of my, my muscle into protein. You know what I'm saying? To come out of me. I was like, why is she looking so slow? I don't know. I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> my... Uh, Ex ex girlfriend got married at the courthouse. Your ex ex girlfriend got married. Your ex ex girlfriend was married when she young. You know they can't hear you when you nod, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I forget I had the microphone. <laughs> I'm like they can't hear you nodding. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, shit. she was uh, four years younger than me. This was in 2010. I don't know, like 21, 20. And people, are getting, people are getting married young Somewhere as hell, there. man. That's young. Yeah, something like that. Makes me scared. Mm-hmm. Makes me scared. Courthouse. In uh, where we used to go to school at. Oh, jeez. Well, man, look, everybody's got their own path in life. You know, <clears throat> hopefully they, they, oh, they didn't last, right? Because she's no longer with that dude. So I it's hard to justify getting married young. But you know what? Maybe it's our generation because back in the 50s, people would get married young as hell and they would just stick it out. Mm -hmm. It's our generation where we get bored very quickly, very quickly, very easily. And we don't like the divorce rate is, is insane. Is it is it over 50 percent yet? The divorce rate? Like last I checked, I it was like 40 to 50 percent. Yeah, probably. It's probably like 70 percent now. It's all 99.9 .9 percent divorce rate. The like, first one's free. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez uh divorce rate i bet you i can look at it first, first you're going it. faster i'm looking up all the other stuff i oh you're like i gotta log out of my pornhub account and the croc, croc tube is still loading <laughs> i went to croc tube that thing is a piece of shit i can't <laughs> find anything <laughs> <laughs> you looked it up. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, I always talk about this. I'm gonna go there. Can't find anything I'm looking for. Like, how am I supposed to release the beast if I can't find what I'm looking for? Feed the beast. Did you find it? It's forty to fifty percent still. Wow. Hey, man, it didn't go up, so that's that's a win. That's what we call a win. Forty to fifty. That's not bad. I it's mean, almost half. That's pretty fucked up when you phrase it that way. Not half. Not, not half. more than half. Not more than half. Fractions. There you go. We just won. Less than half. Less than half. Less than half. Win. Half half glass right there, dog. Uh, win. No, That's what full. we call that. Half full. That's, That's right. Oh, win. That's right. That's right. It could be 90%. It, yeah, it could, could be. be. 
So you know what? It could be fifty one percent. And you know what be. that would be? A loss, an <laughs> L. That's what that could be. You'd be zero and one. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you could be zero and one. You could be like CM Punk's record, zero <laughs> and one. Dang, you talk a lot of shit. But at first, when I first brought up CM Punk, you were like, "Oh, whatever, bro. It's not a big deal." And then CM Punk was getting close <clears> to fighting. You're like, "Oh my god, lie. I really am hoping that he he does this." You're like, "I'm oh, really man. hoping." I was hoping he would do it. I was just happy he came out to his song. That's all I needed. It seemed like you were all about you were all about that dude when he was about to fight. You're like, I'm really hoping he does it. I was really hoping he does it, but hey, win what, some, you lose some. So just like our math just proved right now. That's right. So I guess while we're on the topic of UFC, shortly because every time I feel like we get into UFC, um, who did you have on on Sage versus uh, Mickey Gall? Mickey Gall. You had Mickey Gall because CM Punk told him. He's like, you never tell, you never let anybody tell you you can't do this. Oh, you are the chosen one oh now. God. And I'm like, yes, he is the chosen See, one. You're all about punk. that, dude. No, I mean, like, I was, I was doubtful of Gaul only because he didn't have as much experience. Mm-hmm. And the way I saw Sage was, Sage had been competing in martial arts, not UFC, but in martial arts since he was like 12. Like, there's that picture of him when he's like six and he's, he's got like yoked. abs, which I'm like. Um, I'm calling a lot of bullshit there. Maybe he's just genetically perfect, dude. Dude, maybe he's a test tube baby. Yeah, okay. When when his dad got popped for selling fucking steroids, you're telling me that there's not a fucking maybe sage, cause and effect maybe, there. Maybe twelve year old Sage wakes up in the morning. He's twelve years old. He goes to the cabinet to look for cereal, and he pours some cereal in a bowl. And he's like, man, this is really good. And next day he just wakes up with abs because really he can't read and really he just put some <laughs> prescription drugs. That's all he ate. He was you like, don't know. It was like gummy. It was like gummy uh, steroids. Yeah. Like yeah. Flintstone steroids. Yeah, gummy yeah. steroids. Yeah. I mean, you don't know. I guess it's possible. The steroid uh, frosted flakes. You don't know. Uh, can't read. He can't, yeah. He's 12 years old. Yeah, I suppose, man. So I know a lot of 12 year olds who can't read. Anyways, that's how I was curious about what you're thinking because I almost thought like Sage is gonna be better under pressure, but I I would thought I would think so, but but hey, he he didn't. And maybe Mickey Gall's a hitter. I'm just kind of like, uh, but I'm glad, man. Mickey Gall's been doing the rounds, and he's uh, he's been hitting up a lot of podcasts, and he's he seems like a pretty down to earth guy. Yeah, he seems chill. He seems so, pretty chill. I don't know. So hey, there's that. So what else you got going on, dog? What else you got going on? With aliens, life? aliens. You've been hitting, you've been hitting those conspiracy theories pretty hard, haven't you? Always, always. Do you believe in that stuff? Like when you see it, do you believe in it? Which one? Any of them? Are you believing this stuff, or are you <clears> just kind of like, all right, whatever? It's just funny. It's fun to see the the well, crazy people get to. <laughs> well, it depends like what I'm watching, because like that dude I watch, uh, I showed you a video of. He doesn't. Not all his things are conspiracy. There is like some are, but some are just like interesting facts. Like that one I showed you about like the deep sea monsters or not monsters, deep sea like uh, like things creatures. they found on video or whatever. Yeah, and there's that one like squid that looks like the monster from uh, Cloverfield. Cloverfield at the bottom of the ocean. You were like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, like that. Like a lot of his videos are like that, and they're just like interesting facts. That's why I like that guy because he. He, uh, doesn't, right? Yeah, yeah, he does it. Not all of them are, like, some of them are, and you're like, oh, interesting, but he'll just give, like, facts about stuff that are interesting and, or, like, kind of, like, science, science fiction y. Or, like, you know. Uh, he does a good job of editing, too. Yeah, he's real good about that. And he has, I, like, watched some of his beginning videos, and he didn't have a, like, real good voice for it. Like, he was kind of, like, struggling along, which I guess that could be said of anybody who starts off. Oh, dude, my first videos are atrocious. My first videos should be taken down <laughs> because they were fucking horrid. But, you know, at some point you get comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. Like, Boski talked about that in the beginning, too, where you just didn't feel comfortable on camera. Mm-hmm. But at some point you just start giving less shits. Like, there's certain phases. Like, in the beginning, you don't know where to look. You don't have the confidence in your Do speech. Your hand. You, yeah, you don't know where to, like, how to, how to transition things. The editing's horrible. Usually the camera work is horrible. And then at some point you just start caring. And, and then when you get to the point where you do vlogs... And, like, there's people around you, you're like, oh, I don't want to give my camera out because people are going to, like, think I'm weird. And then at some point, you just don't give a 
flying fuck. Like when you and I are having like dinner and I'm just saying horrible things that people shouldn't be saying. And I'm like, I don't, I don't give a shit. Don't you're like, look, your seven-year-old's going to learn about this in Your seven-year-old's going to learn about this somehow. You know, you he think, might as well learn about you it think right Stork, You think it's Thork with that little thing neck carried him in here? No, your dad was busting baby loads in there. <laughs> I'm surprised you even baby came out. Baby loads. You're a little and shit. Oh, jeez. Hope you grow. That is that is like a like an interesting wives' tale. The the stork carrying a baby. I'm like, you see that neck on that stork? That stork's neck is like one inch diameter. I ain't carrying no baby. He Sorry, don't now, live. If I'm telling you, if it should have been, should have been like a like an American bald eagle with like jet propellers <laughs> in the back, just carrying the baby <laughs> and shit. And it's like America. <laughs> oh jeez. It's like Velociraptor <laughs> stole the. You don't have that movie. I should have. Yeah, I do have it. What are you talking about right there? I, I had to buy another one. I gave it to somebody or let it borrow somebody and then give it back to me. Mm. America. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Here to save the motherfucking day. Yeah. <laughs> That's back when we used to make steel in this country. Now we, yeah. just, we don't. We make we, don't. we make pop singers with Pidgeot hair. That's all we make in this country. Mm-hmm. That's all we do. Dude, I'm so excited that Dragon Ball Z's Goku is the ambassador of the 2020 Olympics. There's a bunch of them. No, it's fuck that. It's only Sailor Goku. Moon. It's only Goku. It's Naruto. Fuck Sailor Moon. It's uh, Naruto is a little bit more legit. Astro Boy because he's the first anime character ever. Um, is he? Yeah. Hmm. Facts. Hashtag facts. I'll give it to him because of that only. Um, but Sailor Moon needs to get the fuck out of here. I don't know why Ichigo from Bleach isn't there. Oh, maybe because the ending sucked, dick. But I'm not bitter about that at all. I haven't watched Bleach. Just spent ten years watching it, or whatever. The fuck. Damn, you're salty, Not son. Not at all. We need to get another another spice in you besides salt. No, that's the only thing I use. Salt. I guess so. Pink Jeez. salt, ro- white salt, Jeez. rock salt, lava salt. Jeez. My, 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 um, Himalayan, Himalayan sea salt. Himalayan sea salt. That's what I was thinking about. I can't think of anyone. Ice cream salt. Ice cream salt. The fuck's that? <laughs> It's salt for ice cream. It like melts it down a different rate. You mean I? You mean I snow salt? That's something. They pour salt on the roads. Yeah. I you know whatever the fuck I don't know. <laughs> Hashtag not certain facts. So. Oh Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon's one too. You I've been bitching about Sailor Moon. You already said Sailor Moon. I said that I don't think Sailor Moon is a legit character because in all the anime she was always bitching about going to her PE class so why should she be part of the Olympics she did a lot for Asian people the blonde haired girl did a lot for Asian people there was there was no Asian girls in that show huh were they all supposed to be Asian the Mars was Asian she watched a shrine and so was uh, Pluto that they had no Asian and then Venus was the dirty one Venus, so Jupiter. I don't remember anymore. I have to Google them. I thought I thought the Mars chick was hot because she was kind of bossy hot. You know, <laughs> like I was into that. You know, no, like you could tell she's gonna be just like you it's know, like, her right here. Yeah, she's, she's gonna I be will. like she's gonna be a little, 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 little kinky. And then, but I always thought the hottest one was probably the uh, the one with the white cat. Yeah, Venus. Venus. Yeah, she was probably the hottest one. You know that cat turned into a person a few times. That cat's trying to get that other cat walls. Trying to get all the walls. He's a dude. What's wrong with you? Probably. Uh, yeah. So faithful cats staying in one person. So yeah. So I don't believe about this whole Sailor Moon thing, but I am lit about Goku being the thing. I almost would like to go to J Pan during the Olympics, but it's gonna be too many people there. It's a fucking island. There's gonna be way too many people there. Way too many people there. Um, They're gonna use up all the natural resources. Yeah, man. But I, I still wanted to go to J Pan. I think there's very few places like I'd want to travel to. In the world, like, I'm not, like, super, like, I'm not one of these people that has, like, a list of places I want to go, right? I do. I do. But I don't, I'm not, like, one of these guys that's, like, I want to see everything in the world. I don't. I have, like, a handful of places. Like, got to see the Hawaii. Everybody says Hawaii is, like, the closest place to, like, heaven on earth or whatever. Everybody makes it seem like it's, is the shiznit. See, people say they want to go to Hawaii because <clears throat> they want to see the beaches and everything. I just want to go. To Hawaii to see where they filmed Jurassic Park. You don't want to go to that. Why would you want to go to that? Why do you want to go to the beach? Fuck you. I want to go to the beach because Hawaii has all the... some poon. Some strange... No, you got to go to the beach. 
You gotta see the waterfalls. Then they got like the place with lava. You gotta go see that. And I'll then they got lava. they got the uh, the peak that has snow. I think Hawaii is one of the only places that has all the uh, all the elements. Not, not all the elements, but all the different <laughs> ecosystems or some shit. I don't know, whatever. So Hawaii, because Hawaii everybody says the shit. Everybody that I know that has gone to Hawaii, they're like it's the shit. So they're all like, we want to go back. I'm like, all right, I gotta guess I'll go to Hawaii. There's nobody talks shit about Hawaii. Nobody comes back and is like, fuck Hawaii, dog. Everything was like wet. And human, like nobody ever comes back and says that. So Hawaii is a place, um, but Hawaii is like number two. Number one for me would be straight Japan. Just, yeah, Japan. I gotta go to Japan. Like, but for me to go to Japan, I gotta go for like a month because the flight already is gonna be like twenty hours. Yeah, you need a day to recoup from right that jet lag. You need two days to rec- to recoup and travel. Right, two days to recoup and travel to travel back. But I just don't want to go to like, I want to go to like downtown Japan. Where you know the city life and 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 all the crazy shopping and all the anime shit, and, but then I also want to go up to like the mountain areas where the temples are and like the waterfalls. Tea fields. I want to go where uh, tea fields. I want to go where Ryu trained with Gokin. I want to go. I want to go. Where like, Kuma killed his brother. Kuma killed his brother. I want to go where Ash started his training. You know, I want to go to Jodo. Kanto. I want to go to Kanto. Jodo and Kanto. Where's his no? Where's his uh his city? Palatown. Palatown. I gotta go Kanto. Palatown. Gotta meet Ash's Ash's mom, you know. Say pay my respects. with her, Mr. Mime. <laughs> but uh, I'm so, like, hey, is Professor Oak still giving you uh, <laughs> some secret, some secret s- side, some secret side dick? <laughs> so J Pan is definitely like my number one. Has Mr. Mime ever done something weird? Oh, that is, that where, where, is creepy. You she got to? Mr. Mime though. It's like he put up his human. light wall and he just hides <laughs> behind there. <laughs> um, J Pan, Hawaii. And ever since I started seeing those dumb videos on Instagram of like those pools that you walk into and it's like Spain, it's like that white city, you know, that, that mm-hmm. city in Spain that's like off the shore, but it's white. I'm like, I gotta go there. You know, that's that one level from uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, right? Oh, yeah. That yeah. one we keep getting like molested in. Mm-hmm. People are going to be pissed off that I said that. Um, that is the Spain. That's Spain. Like, that's why you can go into the 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 back area of the yeah. pool and it leads to like a little walkway of pool area. When we're on that, when we play that level, why don't we just hang out in that area? You take one side and I'll take the other side. That's not a bad plan now that I think about it. We always get so killed on that level. But um, I think that's it, man. I think Spain, there was one more because I, I, I didn't mention one I never mentioned in Spain before. But yeah, Hawaii, Japan, Spain, I know there's one more, but I can't remember. But there's no other place where I'm like, I got to go there before I die. I like to go to uh, Japan, of course, and then uh, New Zealand to see where they made Lord of the Rings. Oh, because they have that city, right? Like yeah. the little Hobbit town's still there. Mm-hmm. I hear New Zealand's really pretty. I hear Germany's really pretty. I hear uh, England. I hear England's really pretty. Like not the city, but like the, oh, the, the countryside. countryside. Yeah. Where, like Sherlock Holmes lives. I've shit. been watching a lot of Top Gear. And when those dudes like just drive those crazy cars in the mountainside, I'm like, oh, dude, I, that's legit. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that, which brings me, how much time we got? I want to get into uh, So anyways, that's my period end of the point. How uh, that's like a dude's dream is like, just give me an open full tank of gas. Give me like a supercar, not something crazy. I don't need like a hypercar. I don't need like a, like an insane Bugatti Veyron. Mm-hmm. Give me like a Lamborghini Gallardo. Give me like a base level Lamborghini. And give me like a nice road. Something that I could just hear that motor. Just I don't even need a radio. Just I just want to hear that motor crank. Just no and then take away all the cops and the speed cameras. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a day. But there is one thing I want to bring up. Okay. This is This is if I had if I was a Kool Aid man, right? Is how mm-hmm. I'm gonna start this conversation. If I was a Kool Aid man, logically, there's only so much Kool Aid that will fit in my jar, right? Mm-hmm. So imagine that the jar is my tolerance for this bullshit going on in this world, and the fucking Kool Aid is the bullshit. Right about now, this jar is about full with this feminist bullshit. 
Hey, you know what was the last drop that filled the jar? Oh, jeez. You know what was the last drop was, that filled the jar? Was the last drop that, that filled the jar? That last jar that filled the jar. Was it the all-female Ocean's Eleven? Yes, it was. I was bitching about this to you the other day, and I am still freaking pissed off about this. And there's reasons, right? Feminists, sit your asses down. Let's let's take a little a little lesson into the male mind, all right? This isn't me being sexist. This isn't me being like, oh, female cast won't do it as good as the guy cast. That's not what I'm saying, okay? That's not what I'm saying, okay? I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a scenario or a scenario if you're an asshole, according to Dane Cook. Okay. When guys go to the club, okay. I don't go up to Ruben and I'm like, Ruben, let's go to the club because I just want to dance. I just want to dance my problems away. I don't know whose fucking joke this is. I'm stealing it. I'm stealing this joke. This isn't my material. And I'm like, I just want to dance my problems away, right? That's not how guys think. Mm -hmm. Okay. We go to the club to meet women or whatever we do to go to the club for, right? Women go to dance. That's what women like to do. And I accept that. I accept that as a man. I know that you might not be there to grind on me. But it might happen because we're talking now. But you're going there to dance with your girls. And I get that. I'm not mad at that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is Ocean's Eleven about? What are the movies about? It is about... What do you think it's about? It's a heist movie. It's a They're heist, heist movie, movies. Yeah. The first one they stole from the casino. Mm -hmm. The second one, what the fuck they do in the second one? <laughs> we should have a movie night where we watch all these. We should. We keep saying that, but we forget to watch um, it. No, the first one, yeah. He, he stole from the casino. He stole from the casino from, uh, not Al Pacino, what's his name? Who gives a shit? Yeah, the other dude. He stole from his bank, or not his bank, his casino. Uh, George Clooney wanted to get his fucking girl back. back. But what happened in the second movie? And then on the second one, he had his woman back. And right. they all had the money. Right. And the dude from the first one was like, I'm going to fucking find you guys. Just watch. And it took like two years, but he found them all. It was like, you guys owe me that money. You need to steal it back. Plus interest. So I think each one owed him like so many hundreds of millions of dollars. And then they're like, oh, you can get the money back if you get this egg thing and if you sell in the black market it'll pay off all your debt but he actually hired another guy to steal it too okay so but, to it's, screw him over. but it's another heist movie another heist okay movie. so that's my point oceans 11 franchise is a heist it's movie. about stealing it's stuff. about stealing shit and the crazy complicated plan in order to do the shit okay mm -hmm. to quote dane cook circa 2001 okay and i'm gonna fuck up this quote there is one thing that men like more than sex, more than food, more than sleep, okay? It's to be in a fucking heist, mm -hmm. okay? Every man wants to be like, hey, get in the car, Jim. Get in the car, and the fucking getaway car is not there. And it's like, fuck, where's the getaway car? And they jump in the getaway car. And this is why movies like The Expendables are fucking so popular, and The Transporter is so popular, mm -hmm. Ocean's Eleven are so popular, because guys, more than sex, more than good food, more than sleep, they want to be part of a fucking heist. They want to go through this crazy, unfathomable scenario where they fucking do something that's impossible. And it's a team of fucking guys and girls or whoever, all guys. It doesn't fucking matter. But it's, this is what men want. Just like women want to go and dance at the club and guys bother them. Okay? So this is why I have a problem with an all-female cast of fucking... Uh, was it not? not uh, I'm losing my train of thought here. Not a uh, a heist movie. This is why I have an issue with an all female cast of heist movies. This is not something women would freaking want to do. No. Okay. It's not about the women actors. It's not about whether they're good or not. Whether it's a feminist versus men. It's not about that. It's about the fact that if I sold you on a movie about men who want to go and love to dance and just want to dance their problems away, you would tell me to go suck a dick that's not going to sell money. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about, what's that stupid movie with the guy stripped? 
Not that oh, one. Uh, magic uh, Mike. Magic I'm not talking Mike, about yeah. fucking Magic Mike. I'm talking about guys who just go to the club and they just want to dance all night. If I went up to a female producer in Hollywood, she would tell me to go fucking back home and laugh at my mm. pitch. Women doing this movie does not make sense. It does not make sense as much as a, as a movie about a man who wants to learn how to do his makeup all day and mm-hmm. go to YouTube tutorials on how to do it. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't fit within the paradigm of what female interest is. Now, maybe they'll have a good plot point. Maybe they'll have good... Um, I can't think of the word. Maybe they'll have a good... Um, reason or motivate that's the word i'm looking for motivation for these women teaming up to do this stuff but when you're also getting rid of the original cast which by the way is not dead mm-hmm. clooney's not dead none of them mark Wahlberg, um casey mark, Affleck's it's not dead. mark Wahlberg. is the other one right uh whatever it's not it's brad not, pitt brad pitt it, these guys aren't Matt dead Damon. these guys are still around oh what's his name's dead who's dead the black guy Bernie Mac. Bernie oh, Mac's dead. Oh, that's sad. Moment Rest in peace, Bernie Mac. But. War Machine can't walk. War Machine. War Machine's in there. Oh, I forgot he was in there. This British guy. I forgot about that. Yeah, so anyways, this is my problem with the Ocean's Eleven all-female male cast. Next thing you know, you're going to tell me there's going to be a fucking all-female Highlander, Highlander movie. You're going to tell me there's an all-female Predator movie where there's female there Predators There should be come female down. Predators. They don't want to hunt. They're just looking for a place to put their eggs. Okay, that's hella sexist right there hey, no i meant hey, like that's what it'll female be male hunter predators and the only people that could defend from like the predators are going to be female like special ops team that's only females and apparently they're going to only led be by like, ronda rousey led by ronda rousey and like they have to wear like bikinis for some non unknown reason like then okay i'm like i'm gonna call a lot of fucking bullshit okay this oceans 11 franchise switch does not make sense just like just like, look, and I haven't seen the Ghostbusters movie. I heard it was dog shit. I also heard other people that liked it. Who knows, right? I haven't seen it. The part that bothered me is that some of these people that made the originals are still around. You should have had them in the movie transitioning the new people mm-hmm. into their roles. And, and the people who saw the original films would have been more receptive to that. It's just like if you did A New Hope the new Star Wars movie, if you did A New Hope and you were like, I don't know, Luke and Leia are fucking doing something. I don't know. They're dead or some shit. I don't know. Let's talk about these new people. People would be like, are you fucking retarded? Like, what the fuck happened? What are you talking about? No, no, no. But there was still Leia was still around. Han was still around. You saw plenty of them in the movie. They're still transitioning. You didn't see any of Luke, but Luke's still around. It's not like they were like, oh, and then Luke died from unknown diseases that he Cancer. he got from. Smoking. Damn, don't say Taking that. Smoke. Don't, don't throw that on, on the Joker. So, I don't know, man. Just, uh, I'm so frustrated because I love those movies, dude. Those are movies that I don't care how often I see those movies. Every single time, I'm like, man, I love to be part of that. I don't, I don't even need to be George Clooney. I could be the dude that's like drilling in the sewers, trying to get like that power cable to take down the power in the hotels. Like, I, it's just that's just a guy fantasy to just be part of a heist. And their chemistry on that was so good. So good. Yeah, like these are all A-list, well, most of them. Most of them are like A-list guys, and they're not like fighting for the screen time or fighting for for attention or who the main guy, Cooney was the main guy. But nobody was like, oh, I need more airtime. Like it, it worked very well. I just think it's a bad choice, and I just, I'm very sad about this. Did. Hey man, may, what I don't know all the details about. It. Maybe, uh, what's her name? Jennifer Mystique. What's her name? Lawrence. Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Maybe she's gonna be a daughter of a. Uh, oh, George she's in Clooney. that movie. She's the main one. Oh fuck. <laughs> Dude, she is quickly diving. She maybe she's a daughter of uh, George Clooney and Julia Roberts. But to me, it doesn't matter who the characters are in the movie. My point is that 
This is such a male. This is yeah. a male fantasy you're watching. Maybe now women want that fantasy. I don't agree. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't either. think they want it as bad as uh, men do. I don't think so either. I think I think they'd rather have a notebook. Hell, I think they'd rather have Fifty Shades of Grey versus versus a heist movie for women. Like who's gonna play who's gonna play the George Clooney character who's getting beat up by the fucking guard? Is it Jennifer Lawrence? She's gonna get beat up by another woman? Because they can't they're not gonna show a guy bodyguard beating up Jennifer Lawrence. There'll be some some social fucking what just is it? Like, social justice just like warrior. Just like when X Men came out and Apocalypse was like choking, choking her, her, and people were freaking out. Like, crazy. oh my god, I can't believe you showed that. Yeah, and half the other people they didn't say anything. Were the ones jerking off. They're like, oh, is she a choker. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Maybe she was into it. She's like, yeah, choke me, Magneto. She's she's probably into or no uh, Apocalypse. I think uh, Magneto did choke her a few times. <laughs> so yeah, man. So. I I'm a little saddened by that because I think I, I those are some of my favorite genre of movie is just those heights the heist movies where you're like oh man I love to be part of that and I think most guys would so anyways yeah man I'm not super crazy about that but hey it might happen well it is gonna happen but it's gonna happen maybe I just, it might be good it might be. The question is not whether it'll be good or not, whether it'll well, be entertaining it or not. It I think the be, genre is more of a male captivating genre. They won't genre. keep it as a heist movie because, yeah, women don't have no interest in that. And that's kind of my point. Yeah, well, that that is true. Yeah, I don't think they have a, uh interest in that. And that's my 10-minute rant on, on uh, this movie. I was fine when you guys want to do Ghostbusters. I was fine when you want to do whatever, whatever. But you're, you're fucking with Ocean's Eleven, which it's not like it's my favorite movie. I don't own any of them. But I think those are the ones I, I get more like immersed in and I get involved in. They're I'm, really good. Those are really good movies. Yeah. So anyways, that was my 10 minute rant on movies. No, that's true. I don't, know, I don't know why they would do that. And I don't understand. But hey. Uh, that's what uh, the world's coming to. That's why we're putting up borders everywhere. Oh, jeez. I didn't get me into that shit. Hey, I'm just making a statement. That's what's happening. Um, anything else you got? I think we hit our hour, dog. Anything else you want to no, let man, these I, fine people know about? That hour went by quick. I think we talked about everything I wanted to. It came up to mind. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still uh, hoping you guys send me some questions or funny crazy scenarios you got with your significant others that you want our opinions on and, don't pull and advice out. oh jeez never i'm going to give you the good advice america just... was made on not pulling out is that how it was made mhm i can confirm that history backs me up on that <laughs> i need your ref i need your ref- references of your look up data. any history books all the pilgrims had like 10 kids yeah. Hashtag facts. You cannot deny those facts. Look it up. Look it up right now on Google. 